Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. It is your boy Crazy Shotter. Bring you guys another zombies gameplay in the background. So, pretty much I promised you guys on I think it was Prestige 10 video that I have on my channel was that I was going to upload an evidence and proof video of me getting to round 86. And that's what I have for you guys today. So if you guys did miss this video on the prestige section when I talked about it, it was um I think Master Prestige or just Prestige. Why am I saying Master Prestige? But Prestige 10 on my YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and link the video down in the description if you guys are interested in seeing my stats within zombies. But um pretty much what I told you guys in there was I was gonna upload this gameplay for you guys. And a little backstory of this gameplay itself is that um when I started uploading it at first and recording the whole gameplay, and I have a pretty big MacBook uh, on my desk right here, which is like 750 gigabytes, and I somehow managed to kill out the entire gigabyte on my hard drive. So that wasn't a really good thing about this. But um, anyways, the gameplay that I had saved in the background was like 13 or I don't know something around there that that many hours it took me to get to 86 on this uh, Shadows of Evil. And when I put it on my laptop and try to edit it, I was like, there's no way I can pretty much upload a 60 gigabyte video to YouTube. I already struggle uploading a 3 gigabyte video. So what I decided to do was cut down every 10 rounds. So pretty much starting from round 9 to like the round 9 to 10 and then what is it 19 to 20 and then 29 to 30 and then 39 to 40 and 49 to 50 you get the point and i did that up to a certain point until i started um getting really tired and i was like okay i might die here so i better start just recording every other round just in case anything happens so that's what i did and i pretty much started recording everything and um i had a great time actually grinding out this entire video but at the same time it was a struggle because it was very difficult trying to stay awake running over and over like when I first did this for the very first time, I could tell that my thumbs were hurting from just running around in circles and circles and circles. I would try different areas too. So I would uh, try to run down in the rift area down here where you guys are watching, run in front of the pack-a-punch room, and I would also run where the pack-a-punch is at. So um, those are the different places that I ran trains at. And a little bit also about the gameplay and the stuff that I use within this gameplay. Of course, everybody knows that if you want to make it far in Shadows of Evil, you have to run the Rift area, which pretty much has you unlimited ammo down there. Like, you could use the Vesper, which I like to upgrade it to where I get Blast Furnace, because the ability Blast Furnace pretty much guarantees you a one-hit kill. And also, it takes out multiple zombies. Like, I want to say, like, the whole crowd of zombies. So, like, if you have, like, 20, 30 zombies chasing you, and you shoot the bullet right in the middle, and it lights on fire, it'll pretty much guarantee killing every single zombie there. So, that's pretty much a little technique that I use to get far within Shadows of Evil. Another technique that I did was, um, pretty much, you see that trap in the background? Like, you guys know the trap down the little chain things? I decided to try to use that to see if I could help me. And it's kind of funny, you guys will see it in this video, but it's probably not where I'm talking at right now. But throughout the video, if you guys watch the whole thing, uh, which I doubt it, I'll kind of, kind of link some of funny parts that I thought was pretty cool in the description. So that you guys have to watch the whole video if you don't want to. And that you guys can pretty much skip to the different parts and see how funny they were. But um, anyways, I think it was around 60 something and I pulled the chain. And it was, for some reason, it cut the head off the zombie. And the zombie would pretty much just keep chasing me even if I had the bowie knife and started knifing him. So that was a little funny part in the video and I hope you guys will see that very soon. And um, for the other gun that I used was um, I used the CUDA which was actually easy access to get to the um, CUDA which was upstairs if I had any trouble not be able to get to the Vesper. And that I had to go through the teleporter so I kind of did that also and upgraded that to get Blast Furnace as well. So those are the abilities that I used. For the perk and gumballs that I decided to pick up was, um, I decided to use, I think it was unquenchable, either unquenchable or on the house. I'm pretty sure it was on the house, but uh, pretty much spawn you a free perk. And uh, that was actually really good because it would give you uh, all the perks of the map. So it was like using perkaholic, but at a, but without actually wasting perkaholic. So those are the gumballs that I used within the video. And I also used a lot of the sword. I didn't like the upgrade. I should have upgraded the sword, but I decided not to because the sword, no matter what round you're on, it's always going to be a one-hit kill. And you guys will see how I messed up at the end of this video, which was the reason I died. And it was kind of stupid death, but I should have uh, expected it that it was going to happen if I was to be a smart ass and do what I did. And um, another thing that I did without this video or throughout this video was pretty much I upgraded Little Ernie for the very first time. And for you who do not know who Little Ernie is, it's pretty much that little monkey bomb in here. It's like the little squid thing. 
and pretty much the way to upgrade is you would go around the map to different areas first you would get the hat and then you would get the tie and then you get the what's it the shadow man's cane and then once you get all three of those items you would pretty much go over to footlight and um, throw a little ernie down at the ritual spot and then it'll make a little cool music spawn or the little Ernie dancing and I'll pretty much show you guys throughout this game but that's what I'm doing I think around 60 something and you guys will probably see that in this video so just gotta upgrade a little Ernie for the first time which is kinda cool never seen it before I've seen it on YouTube from other people but never done it myself personally I also turn on the music in here I did a whole bunch of stuff that people wouldn't do around on pretty much around 60 and also the Rocky Shield I highly recommend if you guys want to get far on Shadows of Evil build that shield at the canals it's very very helpful and also I know you guys are probably bored of me talking already but I'm not going to talk the entire gameplay because it'll be just way too long it's like 20 minute gameplay that I managed to cut it down it was like what I said like 13 hours cut it down to 20 minutes so it's about like 20 gigabytes of what the game I think it's the whole video itself so I'm hoping that I'm able to upload this as soon as possible and then uh, as so you guys can see throughout the video I decided to um, pretty much switch up my weapons because I remember somebody telling me that if you have an LMG equipped it with stamina you could run a lot faster for some reason so I decided to put that theory to the test I think in here I used the BRM so I don't know if you guys will be able to see it in here but uh, I don't even know if I have any part of the video where I cut out and put out the BRM to show you guys but I might but anyways uh, that's what I decided to do and every round, I would pretty much go up and get the shield, go up and get the shield, go up and get the shield. Just repeating the same routines over and over. So I felt like it would be okay for me to cut down the gameplay so that you guys would actually be able to see everything. And I think if you guys really want to see the little Ernie part, I think it's around 68 in which I managed to get it at. So if you guys really want to see what that's all about. And it's really cool because once you throw a little Ernie down, it would um, pretty much make all the zombies or whatever round you're on, the meatball rounds, uh, the fly rounds. Uh, it would make them sit there and they would also be like just rolling around back and forth but they wouldn't hit you so you could watch this funny video you guys will see my little reaction i'm like wondering what the heck is he doing but it's pretty cool uh anyways uh that's pretty much all that i have for you guys today the end like i said before it's a really stupid death but just keep in mind that i decided to keep the sword out for the reason that i knew that i could knife the zombies with it and kill them all right away but at the same time i was really stupid because i think i stopped at round 85 which is around like 3 in the morning and I decided to set my alarm clock to wake me up around 6 o'clock so I could continue this and I was really afraid that I was going to lag out because you guys know a lot of people who aim for these high records on zombies managed to lag out somehow and I was trying not to hope that I was actually hoping to God that that shit wouldn't happen to me because I'd be really upset all this hard work for nothing and um, that's pretty much it guys just keep in mind always at the end that that sword is always a one shot kill and I just had bad luck at the wrong time and I was being a smart ass as usual. So anyways, hope that you guys did enjoy this gameplay in the background. I know people are getting pretty sick of the, um, what's it called, the prestige videos that I'm uploading to my channel. I know I haven't uploaded any gameplay for multiplayer. I haven't uploaded any actual good zombie content to my channel. But um, I'm going to try to bring you guys that tomorrow as well. Bring you guys the next record that I set which was 103. So if you guys really did enjoy this video, it would be awesome to hit the like button down below. And like I said, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below again. Uh, subscribe for brand new content of zombies on my channel, guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace out. Is that a good thing?
Is that a good thing? Go me, I guess. Go me.
Is that a good thing? Go me, I guess. Is that a good thing? 